Hey you guys, how are you doing today? Um, okay, so I just wanted to do a recap of our team call the other day. Um, it was pretty short and brief, but there's a couple things that I think are important um, to share. And because I only recorded half of it, I thought I would just do a whole new video. Um, okay, so the first thing is coach basics. So basically the reason why I wanted everybody to participate in that is because it's going to be an ongoing group. So it's going to be a group where um, for this month we're creating the group and then every other month after that when we have a new coach sign up, we're going to put them into the group. We're going to tag them in day one training video. Um, they're going to watch it. They're going to do the assignment. They'll comment below and then you'll send your coach on to day two of the training video. This way it kind of saves us quite a bit of time rather than every month having to create a new group. And there are going to be some months where, we, where as a team, um, we sign up more coaches than others or we sign up less. So um, we're going to do it th this way and see how it goes. And um, I just think it's cool that, um, you know, as we add coaches that they're able to see everybody's face um, and especially your own. So when you sign up a new coach and they see that you're doing a video, it's just a really great way to show your leadership. So um, that's how the Coach Basics is going. Um, okay. Okay, and then the other thing that we talked about was the um, new coach event that we're doing. So, um, Krista Briggs, she has a new success club partner from a completely different team. So, she's able to get all these brand new ideas from them. And um, this team did a really cool thing. They created an event for a coach open house. And you know how we normally do our coach open houses? Like, they're five days long and we just post like one thing a day in it and people have to read it? Well... This coach event, we're going to be inviting um, everybody and anybody to that we would like. Um, it, an event is, it's like a, it's like an event, it's an open event, a public event on Facebook, okay? So Chris has already created it, so I'll go ahead and make sure that I share the link for that. Um, but we're going to do it all together as a team with Forever Fitness. Um, and basically for one hour on Monday, September 14th, and we're doing two different time slots, one for East Coast and one for West Coast. Um, it's going to be between 8 and 9 <coughs> um, Eastern Standard Time and then also another time between 8 and 9 Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be basically for an hour, every five minutes, we're going to be posting something. So the same things that we would post in Coach Basics, we're going to be posting on our team page or on the event page, which is really cool because people can go there and every five minutes they'll just be like motivated and inspired by somebody's story, you know, somebody's why, or what motivated them to begin coaching, or how it's changed their life, or simple things like that um, for an hour straight. And I guess when this other team did that, they had an amazing um, amount of people signing up on their team. So we're going to try it. If you guys want to participate, let us know because everybody's going to have a specific time slot that they're going to need to post. Um, and we, had to have it, we have to have it all scheduled out. So. Um, go ahead and make sure that um, you let me know. Of course, I'd love everybody to participate in that. I think it'd be really cool, and especially if you're inviting people to that event, um, you definitely want them to be able to see your face. Okay, then <clears throat> if you have any questions about that, like if you're a little confused, just ask me. Okay, then the other thing I want to talk about, you guys, was struggles that I had in my first year as a coach. Um, there's a few new coaches in here, so I just wanted to kind of, you know, go over this. And even for the coaches that have been doing this for a while, like, um, I just think it's kind of important to, you know, to kind of figure out, like, what your struggles were and why they were struggles. So, um, struggle number one, hitting success club. So, um, fortunately, um, this hasn't been it, well, certain months definitely, like, if I'm in the season, like, success club isn't super hard for me to get. But there's definitely some months where I'm like struggling and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I think back, so I was thinking back as like, well, why was I struggling? Well, for that month, you know what? Like I was not being consistent in my work that I'm supposed to be doing. So I wasn't doing my power hour consistently. I wasn't doing reach outs consistently. I wasn't following up consistently like I should be. So really, I mean, in the end, it was my own fault that I wasn't hitting success club. Um, and, I, and I get that sometimes it's hard to be motivated and hard to send out these reach outs, but when the end of the month comes and you're, one of your main goals as a Beachbody coach is to hit Success Club, it's like, for me, it's like a non-negotiable for me in my business. I just like get super stressed out and super antsy. So now I just stay really consistent on my invites and my reach outs. Um, and, and that's not just to say I do it only on social media. I do, I wear and share. I will ask people, um, I'll get 
conversations with people at like my girls gymnastics um, or at school um, you know I kind of just let everybody know about basically what I do because I'm proud of what I do and why wouldn't I want to share that right because it changed my life so um, hitting success success club is just about um, being consistent and building that momentum within your business so get started now if you haven't done that um, so you guys can start seeing some success <coughs> Signing up coaches. You guys, this was so hard for me. I was like, oh man, this is like so scary asking somebody. But as you get more confident in the business and you kind of just believe in more of what you're doing and how you know in your heart that you have so much value that you can offer somebody's life, not just on a physical and mental um, level, but on a financial level, like it's amazing. Um, and to be honest, like for the first little while, I was like, I don't really know how this business model works, like, but it's cool. Um, you do start seeing more income <clears throat> um, as you build your team come in. Um, and I mean, it's just cool because you know that they're also building financial um, success as well. So um, definitely asking people or even just telling people about what you get to do, how you get to work from home, how you can help them build their own business from home. How cool is that, right? Like I didn't think about that until last week, but literally when you sign up coaches, you can teach them how to build a business from home, like on their own time. Like it's such a big deal in this world to not have to like leave your kids and be able to be home with them while still earning an income. Like it's freaking rad, man. Um, okay, getting in personal development. So this is totally like, I'm, I was so bad at this and it's because I was like, oh, I don't have time to read or whatever. But it seriously takes like 30 seconds to press that podcast addict button or turn YouTube on and like type in whatever you want to listen to. So there's literally no excuse why you can't listen to at least 30 minutes of PD a day. And then you know what? That solves your issue of sometimes if you don't really know what to post on Facebook, post your aha moment that you had for the day just from listening to your personal development. It is. They say that the amount of personal development that you read totally correlates with how quickly your business grows. And you know what, I'm, I'm really starting to believe that. And um, so get in that personal development, you guys. And if there's something that you're struggling with as a coach, then focus on that type of personal development. So I was telling the girls on the call that right now, I'm focusing on leadership um, stuff because I'm a mom <laughs> at home. Like I lead my kids around, but to, lead, to, lead, to be a leader to like people who are I mean, to all of you, like, it's kind of a scary thing. And you're like, oh my gosh, like, what am I doing? Am I doing this right? Um, and sometimes you just kind of fall short of yourself and you feel like you're not doing a good enough job. So definitely reading leadership books for me right now is like something crucial that I need to be um, implementing. So just find whatever it is that you're struggling with and then, you know, do your personal development on that. That's my suggestion anyways. Mayella, hold on, sweetheart. Um organization so Amy has helped us a lot with that her Excel spreadsheet has been immensely helpful new coaches if you need to know uh, where that is go to the file section of our team page here and you'll see Excel spreadsheet contacts list um, or just ask and I can tag you guys in it um, but organization especially as new coaches you guys like if you get organized right now like your business will flourish I was the paper and pen girl but I would have papers well I should show you my table right now but kind of embarrassing but I'm just not an organized person, but I really feel like being organized is something that will help you a lot. Um, oh, also Tanya posted just a couple days ago something about organization and um, it proved to be really, really helpful. So um, if, that, if organization is something that you struggle with, I would definitely recommend right now starting, um, starting to be organized within your business before you have this huge client list of people and then people get lost. Um, um, oh, okay, last thing, exciting challenge groups. <coughs> loud challenge groups, groups where people are just like off the wall excited about what they are doing and how they're changing their life. I have had some amazing groups. I've had also had some super quiet groups and I always like to think that I'm pretty loud in them and that I like to, um, that I'm really excited in them and you know, but I've come to discover people have really different personalities and so you kind of have to like tend to what their personalities are. But then again, too, um, you just have to be really consistent with the times that you're um, posting in your group, so like an early morning post. And then I would suggest doing at least two or three more throughout the day, um, only because sometimes people check in at different times, so some of the posts just get lost that you do. Um, so I would just, you know, and do things that really are connecting with the people in your group. There's always going to be different kinds of people and different kinds of um, ways that you can connect with them. 
Um, prizes are a really big deal, so always offer incentives. I just um, ordered four shirts from, um, I was going to say it's been really fixed, from um, Forever 21. Um, they're like fitness motivational shirts. So, you know, like on the second weekend, I'm going to be doing, um, you know, a giveaway for whoever shares their transformation um, and things like that. So just um, know that if your challenge group isn't like super crazy, fun, exciting, whatever, Try and connect with them on a personal level, like through personal messaging. Um, and you'll see that as time goes on, your challenge groups will get a lot more exciting. And you guys, you have to be a hard ass. That is another thing that I have discovered. Like if you're just a softie, you're like, oh, it's totally fine that you ate that piece of chocolate cake. Like, no, you need to be like, no, you can't do that. Like you committed to this group and you need to see how much potential you have in the next 30 days. After that, sure, go ahead and have that cake. But... Like, if you're already, like, giving in to yourself after three days, like, this is not going to work. And you know what? It's really hard to be that hard ass, but you have to find that within yourself. This is just from my own personal experience. Because I really think that people, they need that. They need to hear that from somebody. So be that person. Be that person that's going to kick their ass, you know? So anyways, that's just my, <laughs> that's my two cents. But that's it. I know it's kind of a long video, but I wanted to recap what we talked about because I thought a few other things were really important. And um, I'm going to go make um, the video on how to make a YouTube channel. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.